Welcome to Invista Experts on Demand, your unbiased, informative source for industry news and education. Today we are joined by Stephanie Stocker, Senior Consultant, UX UI Designer, on the topic of UX Design Best Practices and Methodologies. What is UX and why is it important? So UX stands for User Experience, and it's very important when designing a website, an application, a product, or anything that really has a user interface. And it's a goal of a UX designer to create a satisfying experience for the end users interacting with that product. So as a UX designer, we are always trying to create a satisfying experience and trying to understand the pain points and frustrations of the users and ultimately creating a solution to solve those problems. Could you walk us through the UX design process that you use? So every project is different and will require different tools and methods depending on their UX needs. That being said, however, I found that generally every project walks through the same stages of design, which are discovery, users, structure, and branding. In the discovery phase, this is when we meet with our users and stakeholders of the project to hold what we call a design session. And this is when we identify the users of the project, we gather requirements, we try to understand your business processes and also to develop a solution that will work for you. From there, we then move into the user phase and this is when we are fully focused on the users. So we create personas, journey maps, and all of this is to determine who will use your site. And we get this data from those design sessions that we conducted or even user interviews. After the users are identified, we then move into the structure phase. And this is when we work very closely with our stakeholders and users and even developers to make sure we are creating a feasible solution that will fit the needs of your users and the stakeholders. In this stage, we create wireframes, site maps, and page outlines to define the site structure and flow. After everything in the structure phase has been approved, we then move into the branding phase. And this is when we are collaborating closely with our client's marketing team. And we make sure their brand and their identity stays consistent across all devices and resources. So we apply their brand, their images, their colors, and even fonts on top of the approved wireframes to create what we call color designs. And this really makes the project come to life because this is what our developers will reference when producing and building the site. What happens if you skip the UX step and go right into development? So if you decide to skip the UX step, you end up spending a lot more time and money and resources developing a product that your users simply won't use. So then after you develop this product, you find out that you have an issue and then you'll have to spend even more time and more money redesigning and redeveloping a product for your users. A lot of times people decide to skip this step because they think it doesn't fit within their budget or timeline. But it's important to remember that UX does not have a specific process and that we at Invista will actually sit down with you to find an approach that will fit within your project plans. What are the signs that you need UX help? The easiest thing you can do is to talk to your users. So why are they contacting your customer support? What questions are they asking and what are they complaining about? You can also ask them specific questions by surveying them. So ask them, are they satisfied with your product? Is it making their lives easier? Do they enjoy using it? If you do find out that you have a problem or that your users are unsatisfied, then you most likely need UX help. One thing that we do here at Invista, we will sit down with you and conduct an expert evaluation. 
This is when our UX professionals will meet with you to review your product in its current state. So we will provide recommendations based on best practices and standards. In the end, we are here to see you succeed, to help you increase your return on investment and even meet your business goals. So we, we want to create a satisfying experience for your users and create a product that they would love to use. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the next episode of Invista Experts on Demand.